And now she's uh, beginning to move in without much urging at all. In the gate for the $2 million turn. And they are off. And Hatouf breaks alertly, and so did Opera House. And Weymouth Bite is coming up on through. Toward the inside, Fairy Garden is there. On the outside, Solar Splendor. And Louisor is emerging with the lead. Louisor is the leader as they round the turn. Louisor opening up by two. Solar Splendor second. The English champion Opera House is third toward the inside. Hernando is running fourth toward the rail. The NBN up close early, running in fifth position. And then it's Hot Toop and Weymouth Bite, followed by Dernier Emperor and Fairy Garden. Coda Shan is lingering near the back as they continue their descent toward the main oval. Over the dirt, back to the turf, Louis Ur is the leader. Opera House, the English champion, right there, tucking in behind second. Solar Splinters up close, running in third. Hernando, the French Derby winner, is tucked away neatly while saving ground in the early going. BNBN is in hand, running in fifth. Dernier Emperor on the outside, running in sixth position. Hot Toof is in mid-pack, seventh. Weymouth Bike down inside eighth. Kodashan is ninth under the line the first time. Last year's Breeders' Cup turf winner, Fraze, is tenth toward the rail now. Then it's Fairy Garden, followed by Apple Tree. Sarant is at the back with intrepidity as Louisor continues to lead the way. He got a soft opening half mile of 48 and 3 fifth seconds. And Pat Day is nursing the speed of Louisor on an uncontested lead. But Opera House is in close striking range second. And Solar Splendor continues to race up in close attending position third. Weymus Bite now threading her way through between horses fourth. The NBN is a strong fifth on the outside. Hernando sixth toward the rail. Hot Tooth covered up in behind horses. And on the inside, it's Fraze, and he's picking up a few spots now, and he's only five lengths from the lead. Kodashan is still conserved as they move into the far turn. They're a half mile out now in the Breeders' Cup turf, and Louisor threatening to go wire to wire, but Kodashan is uncoiling on the outside. BNBN is moving with him, and here comes the English champ, Opera House, as the field turns for home. Kodashan catapulting past horses on the outside, and BNBN, those two shoulder to shoulder now as they come to the final furlong. Louisor toward the inside, Opera House is done, and at two, it is BNBN running a brave race today. Kodashan lengthening his stride, and Kodashan is the victor. BNBN was second, and Louisor was third. And the cheers for the Americans here, they soundly defeat the Europeans, but the best in the world this afternoon was Kodashan. And Kent DeSormo with his first Breeders' Cup victory as Kodashan makes it a victory for the U.S. In fact, a 1-2-3 U.S. sweep. Kodashan, BNBN, and the French import Louisor. Kodashan finally wearing down BNBN during the stretch run when it looked like BNBN might pull the upset. And what about Louisor, the early pace setter hanging tough on the rail? Here was the decisive moment in the race. BNBN with Chris McCarran in the yellow. On the outside, Kent DeSormo in the blue with Kodashan. Now head and head. And in the final strides on the outside, it's Kodashan that takes the lead and wins it at the wire by a short neck giving DeSormo his first Breeders' Cup victory. Kodashan recently sold to Japanese interests. Dick Mandela is planning on taking him to the Japan Cup in about three weeks for his new owners. Let's go to Greg McCarran with Kent DeSormo. All right, Kent, here we are. Congratulations, buddy. This is your first Breeders' Cup, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. It looked like he really struggled hard through the lane, but he put that BNBN away, didn't he? Well, I tell you, that was the most scaring thing when I hooked up with BNBN. I've hooked him before. He is not the forgiving type. He's not one to give away. And when I came to him, he held me off. But Okoda Shan, when I went to the left hand, he found some more and wore him away. Once again, congratulations, Kent. Back to you, Tom. All right, Greg, Kota Shan, five-year-old French bred, could now be the U.S. champion after a gutty victory in the Breeders' Cup turf. Mandela, the trainer, with his second Breeders' Cup victory of the day. This one coming with Kota Shan, the five-year-old French bred horse by Darshan. Trevor, show us how it happened. Well, here's, here's the winning move right now. 
We took at Cotajan just coming back here and getting the wreath put over him with Kent Sormo. Let's take a look at the move. Here's Cotajan with Kent Sormo in the white cap. Chris McCarran, BN, BN right there. The long shot, Weymus bite in a little tight. And Lejeur is actually going to be up here setting the pace. Let's see Kent Sormo's move here on Cotajan. Absolutely superbly timed. He knows this horse like the back of his hand. He has to go wide. Santa Anita turf race. You're not embarrassed to go wide. You have to get a run. If you try to get through at the rail, you won't get through. Cotajan has a habit of swinging very wide. You see the gap in between him and BN. BN. Not bad riding. That's just the way Cotajan corners. He comes around like a sidecar there. And look at this for a terrific horse race. What a day's racing at Santa Anita. Racing at its very best. BN, BN and Cotajan. Cotajan now right in line to be horse of the year thanks to this neck win here under Kent Tosomo. Another great race at Santa Anita. All right, Trevor, it's been a tough day for jockey Chris McCarran. Second on Passiana, second on BNBN. He's with Bob Newmeyer. Okay, well, we mentioned that the Oak Leaf earlier was a replay. I should say the Juvenile Phillies was a replay of the Oak Leaf with Sardula and Phone Chatter, and this was a replay of the race we showed before, and that was the San Juan Capistrano. Again, BNBN, again, Coda Shin, again, about a head finish, Chris. Not enough. Oh, this horse is honest as a day is long. Like I said about Passiana, he's, he's unbelievable. He's got such a wonderful attitude. He's aggressive and he wants to run and he's very generous and uh, what can I say you got beat by the best turf horse in the country today and that horse is just tough. What's amazing about it, in my mind, a slow pace. Pat Day tried to put the field to sleep, hypnotize you with a 48 half. You had position on Kota Shan almost every step of the way. He still fired late to beat that, you. That was the plan, Bob. This horse is, has been able to finish in his races while we're letting him show more speed. His last three or four races have been like that, with the exception of the New York race, which which was a debacle. But he's he's much more tactical now. He used to make one want to make one late run, but he gets into the race early for me now, and I thought that would to be my beat to my advantage with Kodashan having to come through 14 horses, you know. All right, let's pick you up in the stretch now. You're in the, obviously, in the gold silks. Kodashan is coming up to you in the outside. You're in prime position here, and here he comes roaring up on your outside. Yeah, I saw him coming at the 3 8 pole. I knew who it was, and I started to ask BNBN to run, and he responded very well. And Kodashan got about a neck in front of me straightening out, and then BNBN came back and got right nose and nose with him again and gave me a good feeling like he might be able to hold him off, but then Kodashan edged clear right at the end. Noble in defeat, huh? He sure was. Thanks a lot, Bob. Very happy Chris McCarron. Let's go back to Tom. All right, Bob, and uh, for the Eclipse Award voters, tough decision. Lure won a Breeders' Cup race. Kodashan won a Breeders' Cup race. Star of Cozane passed it, but has had a great year. It's going to be uh, very contentious for the title. Let's go to the winning rider, Kent DeSormo. He's with Mike Battaglia. All right, Tom. Kent DeSormo, your first Breeders' Cup win. How does it feel? Oh, I, I don't know. Ask me in the morning. Um, I, I've always been very jubilant after the wire with a normal stakes win, but my net, I was shaking so much coming to the wire, praying, hoping that I would get there first. Uh, I just held on. This horse got a lot of heart. Did you know you had the race, or did you think uh, McCarran had it with BNBN? Absolutely not. I've hooked BNBN before on maybe a less caliber horse and got by him, and he's come back and beat me. Today, I came to him very strong, and, and when we initially made the run, when I asked my horse first, McCarran's horse went on, and I said, oh, my God, I'm not even going to get by him. And he wore me down, wore me down. Finally, I switched to the left hand and got an extra out to effort off the Kod out of Kodashan, and he went on and <laughs> came home a winner. <laughs> Did you know you had the race one under the wire? No. Well, you under the wire, yes, the last three strides. Right. I knew I was going to be a winner, but until 30 yards before the wire, I was shaking in my boots. Can we see the monitor here? Look at the monitor here and you see BNBN on the inside, you on the outside. What were you thinking? I was thinking, oh, just an ounce more of effort and you'll get me home a day for the Breeders' Cup and uh, picked a good one to get the first win in. Kodashan, what a magnificent animal. He has been everything for me this year and uh, here he is again and, doing the things I need. And a definite candidate for Horse of the Year. Kodashan, excellent ride, Kent. Back to you, Tom. All right, Mike, let's go to the winner's circle now for the presentation with Terry Leibel officiating. Thank you very much, Tom Hammond. An excited group here, understandably so, and to make the presentations in this one-and-a-half-mile turf test is Mr. Ted Bassett, who is the president of the Breeders' Cup. Congratulations on a marvelous race. That was a great win and great Thank come from behind. Thank you. Hope you'll have many more. The brothers Wertheimer from France and Dick Mandela, the trainer of Cotachon, well, it was close, but, and I know when we talked a couple of days ago, remember you said you were very, very nervous, you just wanted it to go right, it went right. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of luck. Kent rode him in a flawless race, 
He kept him out of trouble every step of the way, and today could have been very easy to get locked up and never get out, and, and I'm grateful for that. And I know you want to send a message back home to your family. Yeah, I just hope they were watching, and I brought up regret not coming. And I want to say uh, Rick Mandela did a fantastic job. He was patient, and he handled the horse beautifully. So did the jockey, who this time did it right perfect way. We're very, very happy. What a day you've had in the Breeders' Cup. You ever remember this, a California boy like yourself? You imagine that, huh? I'd like to say one thing. I'd like to dedicate this race to a little girl named Claire that died last year. Okay? Her, her family will know who it is. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, like and that. congratulations to you all. Tom? Like all right, Terry, Dick Mandela with his second Breeders' Cup win of the afternoon. Kodashan, $5,322.80. BNBN, $4,360. Louisur, $5,20. A $17.20 exacta. And it's been a pretty formful day. No big long shot winners yet. Perhaps that'll come in the $3 million classic. That's still to come from Breeders' Cup 10. Right, this was the one you wanted the most. Welcome back to Santa Anita and the official order of finish in the $2 million Breeders' Cup turf as the Europeans for the second straight year are staring at a shutout day. Kodoshan the winner over BNBN and Louisur. Fraze, last year's winner, a creditable fourth. Then the Europeans, Hot Tooth, Opera House, Fairy Garden. Finishing eighth, Weymus Bite, then Apple Tree, Hernando Serrant, Dernier Emperor, Intrepidity, and Solar Splendor.